indeed consists of a whole number of reconstruction of, um, especially Greek uh, sculpture that you will see in, in, in our galleries. And we have been working on diligent uh, teams here at the Met, objects conservation, scientific research, imaging, to create an, the newest reconstruction of an old uh, Greek sculpture. And that's the, uh, our famous Sphinx that you see here now in three different versions. The original, where you can still see the original traces of color. Uh, our reconstruction of how it was originally positioned. And then our new uh, reconstruction, how it was, how it originally appeared to, uh, for people seeing it at that, at that time. For uh, transforming our galleries, for sharing uh, something that I, I think will forever ever transform our idea about what we see in the museum and how it relates to reality, to history, and to the original artistic um, in, uh, impetus that stands behind it. We want to point out to you these magnificent bronze uh, reconstructions of the famous Terme uh, bronzes that were discovered in the um, late 19th century in Rome. Uh, and um, I, I really should let uh, Vincennes talk, talk, about, talk about these, but I just want to, I just want to point out all around uh, you that in this gallery we have other, there are more examples of the Brinkmann's reconstruction. So Vincennes, would you like to do this? Those Greeks, they uh, gradually understood how to deceive human eye, how to create illusionism in art how to create painterly techniques, how to create what they called mimesis, so the complete illusion of reality. And we know from the written sources that bronze sculpture of this period, so let's say 300, 200 before Christ, in the Greek Hellenism, that these bronze sculptures had been perceived as enormously and super realistic. So often people reached those statues in Greek sanctuaries and they didn't know exactly, is, it, is this talking to me? Will this stand up or is this, is this just bronze? This is very true for the, those two very famous statues. And thanks to the um, Italian authorities, we were the only team allowed to reproduce the Quirinal bronzes, those, and the Riace bronzes you just passed. Those four are the most important Greek bronze statues preserved on earth. Sorry for this. And we were the only to be allowed to scan and to analyze them in depth. And by doing it, we had two aims. We wanted to understand polychromy, how colorful had been an ancient bronze statue. And the other aim was to understand the identity of the persons, so the mythology behind it, the fairy tale, the story behind it. And we firmly believe that in both cases, we solved the riddle. So we are in a very comfortable position to offer two possibilities which are very profound and full of arguments. And if we are correct, this famous boxer statue shows a local king. And when the famous Yazon team, the Argonauts, passed the Bosporus, they asked for water, and this king was challenging them in a box fight. He was used to kill all foreigners in such a boxing fight. And it's the first time that there is an opponent, the son of Zeus, Pollux. There is an opponent who understood how to defeat him. And this is the very moment of defeating the local king by the son of Zeus. And if you turn around, the, the original boxer had been here in New York um, lately. Uh, you will remember him. 
And you will remember that all those scars, those blood strains, and, uh, are still nicely preserved on the original piece. We simply did restore, we replicated those traces and made them more vivid. So, and reached his uh, authentic, pristine, um, traumatized, terrorized view onto his opponent who is standing next to him and he is now deciding what will be the verdict. Will he kill him eventually? Or will he leave him uh, alive and force him to treat foreigners nicely in future? So in reconstructing those bronzes, in searching for the aspect of polychromy, we understood the reading, the narrative, the story. You will see this is a dialogue in between two research aims, and this is the result. And this is a recast in bronze. Thank you. Upstairs on our mezzanine level, which is 